Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Innovation Podcast, your source for all things innovation. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres to keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so I have David Rausch on the line, and he's CEO over at Airy Collective. David, welcome to the show. Hi, Adam. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Oh, man. So uh, excited to have you here today. We're going to talk about one of my favorite subjects, drones. So this is going to be awesome. Um, Future of energy and drones. Excited to get into this with you. But before we do, let's go a little bit further into your company. Tell us a little bit more about Airy Collective, please. Yeah. Uh, So Airy Collective uh, was started as a collaboration between companies to uh, make the drone industry uh, progress more. And over the years, it's become more of a uh, less so about drones and uh, hydrogen per se, which are the two industries that we work in, um, and more about the people and making the planet uh, a better place for all of us. And I think that drones and hydrogen are uh, two of the best ways that we can make the planet a better place. And uh, so what we do is we use hydrogen drones for services. We advocate for the hydrogen industry, um, and we uh, advocate for the drone industry uh, because, you know, both of those are going to be one of the, the, the – both of those are going to be one of the biggest industries that we're going to see in the future. Now that's awesome, um, and I think this is a great, uh, great transition. So the future of energy and drones. I mean, where do you want to go with this topic? It's a big topic. Yeah. Um, well, so we're seeing a shift in 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 people's understanding of the world with you know global warming, uh, with COVID uh, especially. People are looking for a better way to to live to do the things that they've been doing, they're more aware of the world around them, I think, than ever before. And, uh, you know, Europe's ahead of us in wanting to be carbon neutral. California wants to be carbon neutral by 2045. And the rest of the country is going to have to follow suit eventually. So that's where hydrogen comes in. Uh, Hydrogen is, you know, the most common element on Earth. And, uh, it, you know, it's, it's sustainable, it's clean, and it's uh, comparable energy to fossil fuels. So, um, so the hydrogen industry is, while well, it's small right now, but it's going to be one of the biggest industries on the planet as the world starts to adopt a better way to fuel their well, everything. So you have a, I mean, you have a unique vantage point here because you've been working on this for a long time and you've done it from the drone aspect, hydrogen. I mean, you've been doing this a long time. What, what yeah. excites you right now? Like what, what from your vantage point, I mean, you're, you're living this, breathing this every day. What excites you right now? It could be technology or trends or otherwise. Um, I'm, you know, I, I love the drone industry. I love the hydrogen industry. I love where it's going. And uh, being able to wake up every day and know that I'm working on something that's benefiting the entire world, benefiting everybody around me. And I love the team that I'm working with. You know, everybody that I'm working with is passionate about the same thing. They're passionate about this mission of making the world a better place. And I love waking up to that. Um, You know, I I just don't know what else I can say to that. And so um, any type of, um, I mean, technology, give, give me a little bit more on this one. I want any technology you've seen, like anything specific in the drone side or otherwise, that's just like, that's just cool. Give me some of that, David. Yeah. I, know you, I know you're seeing things. I know, I know you love what you're doing. We get it. Yeah. I understand you have a great community. I get it. Give me some meat here. There's a lot of tech people listening. I got you. Okay. Um, you know, when I, when I first started, uh, started in drones. I I was a pilot in Virginia and I flew um citations, this really small jets and I loved that, but once I saw drones, I saw how they were involved in literally every industry. They're just 
drone taxis. In 2014, China signed a contract with Dubai to change their transportation system using drone taxis. And that didn't happen. But, you know, looking on the news, Bell Helicopters, you know, uh, all these companies are coming out with these drone taxis. It's, a, it's going to be a, a thing, and that's going to revolutionize how we travel. And with COVID, you're seeing a lot more drone deliveries. Amazon's mm-hmm. pushing that. You know, UPS is pushing that. Um, they're all going for these deliveries, which is going to cut down on the the effort and the time it takes to get things where they need to go. It's going to be a completely different world in the next, like, 10 years with uh, with how drones are being used just from COVID or, um, you know, just in transportation. But really, with filming, like, they used, used to use helicopters, right, for, for filming. And now you have these drones. You can film uh, – I don't know if you've seen the FPV um, – uh, oh, what was it? The uh, I believe is is Deadpool. I, I think. Um, the, oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I I know what uh, you're talking about. Now. I don't I don't remember the, yeah, the number though. I'm, I'm, there's one movie that uh, that that we watched that they had an FTV camera fly through uh, through the one side window of a car and out the other side while it was driving at 40 miles an hour. And filming, and it's that's insane, right? And um, just the, the the overwhelming broad scope of capabilities for drones um, in the world is is sort of intoxicating, you know. Yeah, I'm I'm excited about it. I always laugh because when people are talking about drones, I'm like, when is my like that Domino's pizza like a block or two or three blocks away? I just want the drone to just come up right to my window, bring me my pizza, bring me whatever I want. Now when Amazon has it going, I'm like, oh, I want that. Hit the button, okay, drone will be here in an hour. That's great, and just like and done. And I'm I'm I don't know. Some people some people don't like that. I'm excited for that world. I know, and it is it is a bit of a scary uh, scary thought, but I mean, think about it. Like you know, th- ten years ago, fifteen years ago, Stranger Danger. Now we're ordering people's cars on our iPhones <laughs> uh, to pick us up and take us to somebody else's house that we don't know. Uh, well, not so much with COVID, but before that, you know, it was. It, it, you know, you have this like we have this preconceived notion of what's safe or what's what's right. And then something changes. And, you know, like with Airbnb and Uber, like it's just changed. And now we don't think of it like, well, yeah, of course. I mean, that's, that makes sense. Of course I'm going to do Airbnb. Um, and I think drones are going to be the same way where people are kind of, they're, they either think that drones are good for filming and that's it, or taking pictures. And they're scared of their privacy and they're scared of what drones can do because of what they've heard on the news from uh, from the military. But as as the this this good press this momentum of good use of drones comes out it's just going to be like night and day that's going to seem like it's going to be overnight it's just going to oh, go from sure. no drones or people afraid of drones to oh hey look my drone's here exactly and, uh, i'm going to be excited i'm already excited i'm already excited yeah me too so so, David, um, that being said, uh, first off, awesome having you on the show today. I, lo- lo- I love uh, geeking out in drones and seeing what's going on. So great to have you on, uh, number one. Number two, if somebody if somebody's listening to this and they want to learn more about your work and your team's work over at Airy Collective, I mean, what's the best way for them to reach out and to connect with the brand? Um, yeah, uh, LinkedIn, I get a lot of uh, momentum on LinkedIn. Um, you can find me at David Roush um, on there. Um, or you can find me at airycollective.com. Um, what other platforms do people use? I think that's the, that's the main one. I think LinkedIn is the one that people do, David. And also, um, I do want to give you a, I want, I want to get your book plug in here. What's the, I know you also wrote a book. So I, I love helping support people that are authors and helping them get their word out on their message. I know the book's not about drones and it's okay. Don't worry about that. Give us the title where people can get it and give us a quick what it's about. Yeah. Uh, the title is Regret Nothing. It's on Amazon. 
And it's about, um, you know, I, I've, I, when I was a kid, I set out to achieve certain goals, and I've achieved all of them already. Um, and uh, I, the older I get, the more I realize that there really isn't anything that I can't do when I set my mind to actually achieve it. And it's this idea, or it's basically the philosophy that I grew up with, uh, watching my granddad, who was a course air pilot in World War II, uh, flew with Charles, uh, uh, Charles Lindbergh and John Glenn, and did a bunch of other crazy stuff. Um, and I saw his example, uh, and I, I wanted to be like him and ended up, you know, achieving all of my dreams. And so that's what the book's about. Regret. Well, David, um, name of the book one more time so people can look it up. Yep, Regret Nothing. It's on Amazon. And uh, quick read, you uh, you'll enjoy it. Awesome. Well, David, thanks again for coming on the show. And uh, to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes store. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Innovation, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments on the video. Love to know what kind of um, projects and things that you're working on. And David, thank you for coming on the show. Thanks, Adam. It was a pleasure.